Let's go, soldiers. We're the last of them. Moving out. Wilson! Wilson! You hear me? Let's get this truck loaded up and get our unit out of here. Yes, sir. Okay, you heard the captain. We are out of here in 15 minutes. Double time it. Jones? Jones? Has anyone seen Jones? Jones! Jones! Jones. What the? Jeez. I thought you were. What? I don't know. Can a man take a leak in peace? Or do you think I'm doing that wrong too? No, you look like you have things in hand. Wow, well, that I finally impressed you. Far, far from it. And by the way, those aren't regulation. You aren't regulation. What does that even mean? We're leaving. Okay. I'll be there. We're leaving in 15. I heard you. So? So? <laughs> Can I finish? Whatever. We will leave you behind, moron. How are you doing, Private? Almost there. Looks like we're in for a bit of a sandstorm. Don't worry, we'll be out of here before it hits. We better be. No, no, wait, wait, stop, stop! We're not going anywhere. I'm telling you, Eureka! I finally found it. This is it. I found it. Sydney, we're moving out. We're the last of the group. You want to be out here alone at night when the locals find us? Well, then make them turn around, or you turn, or something. Look at these readings. Traces that got a radiation wave signatures. I'm telling you, this is it. These readings, they don't lie. Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna regret this. <laughs> All right, you and you, back in. Let's go. Wilson? Yes, sir? Five minutes and we're taillight. You got it, sir. Gerber, this better not be like last time. Captain, I'm sure your patience with me has paid off. <laughs> They'll probably even give you a medal for this. Of course, you realize you won't be able to talk about it for another well, 100 years or so. <laughs> well, maybe when this is declassified, the great grandkids will write a book report on it. Make me look good. I'm sure they'll all get A's on it. All right, let's break out the flashlights. Grab that shovel. Give me a little light in this corner over here, will you? Well, where is it? <laughs> this way. <laughs> this is it. Radiation signatures off the charts. Look at these small energy spikes underneath us. Thrill, scientific exploration. <laughs> I do not know. Let's find out. <laughs> you heard the egghead. Let's find out. Oh, that'll make a colorful coat for the book reports. We're all packed up here, ma'am. What? We're all packed up. Uh, okay, that's great. Thank you. Let me see. Let me see. What in the world? Whatever it is, it's not from this world. explanation or guess as to what we're looking at here? I have no idea. Mr. Honest. What is that? What is it? Everybody out! Go! Get out! Go!
under attack. Emergency news. This confirmed? Yes, sir. Confirmed with Naval Command. I thought so. I hate Mondays. Commander Deckard has been notified. Emergency reinstatement activated for Dr. Marks. Yeah, this is Director Dixon. I need a secure line. Sir Director Dixon, we will assemble the team. Yes, right away, sir. Dr. Morris. Yes, sir, of course, sir. We will do our best to find him. Yes, sir. Sending now. Helicopters away. Army, son. 
Sir, please, I know. But I have orders here. They come from Director Dixon himself. Who do they now? Let me take a look at those. I thought you wanted to see the orders. No, I just wanted to see if you'd do it. I like you. So are we going far? So I'm gonna need a few things. Motion sickness pills, hypoallergenic pillow, skin cream. Wait, scratch that. Skin creams. Are you writing this down? Have you been waiting long? Me? No. Good. This way. Um, so, do you know why I'm here? Sir, I was just told to escort you, sir. Right. Secrecy, graph, and formality. How I've missed the military, so... Ah! A familiar face. Hello, Dr. Marks. Thank you. That'll be all. Thank you. That'll be all. Sir, before you go in there, I must warn you that what you are about to see and hear is usually far above your clearance level. Retired army or not. Yes, yes, scary stuff. Uh, I'm not sure if you're aware of this. What's your name? O'Connell, sir. Well, O'Connell, my ex-wife is Commander Catherine Decker. She and I used to run an elite scientific outfit right here at this very same base. Elite, sir? That's right. We dealt with the unexplained, the impossible, and the friggin' unimaginable. The stuff that happened outside the planes of what one might consider a reasonable possibility. In short, whatever's behind this door, I used to be surrounded by all the time. Yes, sir. She said you might say something like that. What does that mean? Our problem begins with Sidney Gerber, former military, former member of my research team, in fact. We fear he's gone rogue and is trading secrets with the enemies of the US. You see, Gerber and the scout team he was working with have gone missing. If you're so sure Sidney was a traitor, why was he working with an army scout team? Please let me introduce Dr. Marks. Dr. Marks needs no introductions here. Thank you for coming, doctor. The short answer is they were off mission when this happened. We don't know how Gerber infiltrated the team. Doctor, didn't you work with Dr. Gerber on the very same projects that Commander Deckard oversaw on this base? Yes, I did. You two were very close? At one point, yes. So tell me, Doctor, what can you tell us about Sidney Gerber? Dr. Sidney Gerber, along with myself and Commander Catherine Deckard, ran what the Army classified as the Unearthing Project. It was a top secret Army project to create wormholes and vortexes and to study the effects that traveling through one would have on the creatures of Earth. Sidney's findings were impressive. Yes, Doctor, we know all that. Well, when his work was deemed to be dangerous, and the powers that be grew afraid of his findings, he was banished to a far corner of the world, never to be seen again. And? And work on the project was essentially halted. Dr. Marks, when was the last time you spoke to Dr. Gerber? I haven't seen or talked to him in 15 years. Is that why I'm here? No, William. We need your insight. About what? How close do you think he was to creating a stable wormhole? No one is close to creating a stable wormhole. No one. Really? Is this accurate? Someone has done it? Not someone. Sidney Gerber. How? Two days ago, the entire Golden Star unit went missing. 
Gerbert passed himself off as some sort of crusading do-gooder. Typed Golden Star off the book and scouring the desert for him. To what end? For the materials he would need to create a stable wormhole or vortex to other parts of our galaxy. Wow. I need a minute. With this technology, he could create a weapon with this wormhole that could send anyone, or a city, or an entire nation to who knows where, a billion light years from here. Look, we don't know what he's planning, but his technology in the wrong hands is a very, very bad thing. These are called gatta radiation waves. They're present when a wormhole or vortex is opened. Of course. In this area on the map, the frequencies are off the charts and growing exponentially. What about anything that gets in the way? Engulfed, devoured, eliminated. It's as if it never existed. I shall be heading up the new team. We need to find our way to this wormhole, and we need to find a way to close it or destroy it. We need to find Sidney Gerber. If he is still alive, he could be useful to us in helping to stop this wormhole event. And time is running out. This wormhole is growing faster the more space it engulfs. Commander Deckard, we'll leave you and your team to get to work. Good luck. Hello, William. It's good of you to come. Thank you. You're looking well. Yeah, well, you still look terrible in Army Green. Yes, I'm still in the Army. On loan to the Navy for this assignment. So, you need me? Yes, William. Who would have thought Sidney would be the one to bring us back together again? Well, you always did think he was everything to our research. The Golden Star unit is missing, William. They have been officially classified as such. But Sydney's still alive. I know it. You know it? Look, the Gata signatures are still growing, but it's too smooth, too calculated. Someone must be controlling it. Think about it. It's a good theory. If Sydney is still alive, he is our best bet to stopping this whole thing. Look, you know I hate Sidney as much as you. Let's just find him, use his knowledge, and then you can throw him in the wormhole. Okay. So what's the plan? The government's given us back the Unearthling Project. Full access to all our research and Sidney's. <laughs> wow. I assumed you'd say yes. Took a leap of faith. Mm, well, how you have any faith in the middle of all this is beyond me. At this moment, faith is all we've got. And speaking of leaps, have you ever done a halo jump? No. And who are you? Lieutenant Rager, Special Ops. The commandos in my SEAL unit, under my command, are responsible for getting your butt to that desert. Protecting your butt while on the ground. And getting your butt back home safe and sound. Even if it means giving our lives for yours. Well, I just made a new best friend. The Charm Offensive. Yeah, I heard that about you. Permission to speak frankly, sir? Go ahead, Lieutenant. I don't hold any rank. I don't need a friend. I don't want you to think of me as your friend. All I want and need is to successfully complete my mission and bring everyone home alive. That's it. Making friends is not on my to-do list. Did you used to do stand-up? Very funny. I hope that sarcasm has gotten you far. Because it won't mean squat over there if I'm not around to protect your scrawny butt. You say butt a lot. You want to see me kick somebody's butt? That's enough, Lieutenant. Maybe coming here was a bad idea. No, it wasn't. We leave first thing tomorrow. I need you. 
they may not know it yet, but Rager and his SEAL team need you too. So, Lieutenant, you were uh, talking about your plan. My plan? Uh, yeah, it was something about a halo jump. Well, Dr. Marks, we will all halo jump into the middle of the nastiest sandstorm you've ever seen, into an unprotected area of a battle-worn country. We will get you to this wormhole that seems to be more dangerous than just about anything ever seen on Earth, while possibly trying to capture or kill a mad scientist. That, Doctor, is the plan. Now, are you still in or not? Well, since you put it that way. Okay, um, uh, one question. What is a halo jump? this wormhole or Dr. Gerber, whichever we can find first.
Okay, good work, Ben. Are we sure this is the correct location? Any signs of gatta radiation? No. Where's the truck? Wasn't there supposed to be a truck? There was a truck in the satellite photos in our briefing. Well, if you recall, there were sandstorms that day, gentlemen. Yeah, but there should be something. Yeah, there is. Truck tire. So what? Sandstorm blew the tires off its truck. No, it's here. Just upside down. Very good, Lieutenant. Holy cow, that was some sandstorm. Star unit. This is the cave. All right, soldiers, this is why we're here. Johnson, Gomez, you stand post. The rest of us are going in the cave. Wait a sec. Sandstorm! All right, everybody in the cave! Try to get a reading, see what's up with the gatta radiation. Just need a minute here. It's not really working 100%. Sometimes a gentle touch is not at all what it's called for. Well, maybe I was wrong about you. Yeah, how was that? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, uh, I kept thinking stand up comedian should be your fallback career, but now I'm thinking you should write greeting cards. You know, sometimes a uh, gentle touch is not at all what it's called for. I like that. It's subtle. Okay, that's enough. If we don't know how long the sandstorm is going to take, and we are already stuck in here, why don't we do what we came to do? Let's explore the cave for clues. We're good. Be careful. You got it, Catherine. Everyone be very calm. Duh. No, I'm being very serious. I know a little bit about insects, bugs, and creepy crawlies. This spider can cause big problems. Oh, yeah? I can cause big problems, too. No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Booyah! Nice job, Perry. You idiot. <laughs> hey, chill out, Doc. He's not gonna do anything. Oh, no, he's not. <laughs>
think. Neck. What? The, the, the neck, the neck. It's the only exposed spot. Good job, William. But how are we supposed to get off the top of the neck? Do I have to do everything around here? scientist. But what the heck was that? Are spiders normally that big around here? Obviously the gatta radiation caused a mutation. We always thought that could happen. Obviously. Now I feel better. Yeah. Yeah, this calls for a celebration. Johnson would have loved to have seen this. To Johnson. To Johnson! <laughs> You gonna celebrate with the guys? No. Let them have their moment. I'm just glad Steven's all right. Steven. Steven. Right. <laughs> you always did have a thing for bad boys. William, there's been something I've been trying to tell you. Ah, uh, don't need to hear it. Uh, you don't owe me any explanations anymore. Remember? Gross. Yeah, well, no offense, Steven. I have research to do. I think I found something. What? Well, it's not a new skincare lotion, I'll tell you that. Oh! Emitting very faint trace amounts of gatta radiation. May I? I've never seen anything like it. It could be a byproduct of the wormhole event or. Or something from the wormhole itself. Yeah, maybe a diamond from 12 billion light years from here. It's getting brighter. We should head this way. Hey, what gives? sleeper or it's dead it's dead so now we know there's big giant scorpions down here too this just keeps getting better ah look army issue it's a dig site but for what mutating the creepy crawlies around here. Wow. Will you please invite me when you win your Nobel Prize? Yeah, it's coming from the light. 
Yeah, no one does. Everyone take cover! We have a wormhole, everyone. Very unstable little wormhole. Sydney and the larger event. If the big one is as unstable as this, we could be in for a heap of trouble. Hey guys, come look at this. Hmm. Did we have a language expert on this team? We did. We did? Yeah, Johnson. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, unfortunate. Well, our good commander here was a bit of a language aficionado. Catherine? What is it? Catherine? Catherine? What is it? Catherine? Catherine? Catherine! alive. Oh. Does anybody else hear that ringing? Is that just me? Oh. Oh. William? Yes. Yes. Catherine, I'm here. Yes. A mothering instinct. It was recreating a mothering instinct in me. Ancient, ritualistic, instinctual. It was to protect the wormhole. No, I know. I figured it out. It was all there in the market. You figured it out? I did. I saved your life. You saved me? Yeah, I, I, I did. I, I saved your life. But how? A mother will do anything to save her child. She'll kill. She'll die to save her child. I did the one thing that could snap you out of it. I kissed you. You did? Yes. Oh, no. I don't really know Steven, why that's... Steven, uh, I, uh, I heard him, didn't I? He's fine, he's fine. Point to remember is, is that uh, I saved you, so... Uh, mm. Of course. Mm. No, thank you. Mm. Will you help me up? Mm. Will you help oh, me up? Uh, no, sorry, of course. Uh, 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 okay, well, my kiss saved your life. Steven! I'm so sorry. Are you okay? <clears throat> oh, well, I guess.
guess this means I don't have to kick your tail. <laughs> nope, it's purely scientific. Uh, she was caught in a motherly fight instinct. The uh, hieroglyphics were just uh, directions of a sort that gave the reader superhuman power. For what purpose? To protect whoever would go through the wormhole. What? The hieroglyphics mention the wormhole. They've been here for who knows how long. I'm guessing that whoever discovered this site needed Sydney to help figure out a way to activate the wormhole. Yes. And you kissed her, why? Yes. Me kissing my ex-wife is the most shocking part of this story. Ancient hieroglyphics mentioning wormholes. Kind of interesting, but me kissing Catherine, that's, that, that's shocking. I had to do something to wake her from that mothering state. So you kissed her? Pheromones. Precisely. Wait, why would you have to kick my tail? We were trying to keep it a secret. What? Well, it's not really regulation or anything, but who really cares about rules and regs when, you know? You know what? I'm really, I'm, I'm not following. Come on, William. Do I have to draw you a map? We're getting married. Hitch, tying the knot, walking the aisle. Get it? So you two are in love? Yes. yes. Hmm. Let's say uh, I agree with your general hypothesis. Well, answer me this, Catherine. Sure. Okay, if you two are so much in love, then how could my kiss save you back there, huh? My, my kiss? Really, Doc? You want to start something in the middle of this nightmare? Sort of. But we don't have time for that. Whatever Sydney did, it didn't work 100%. I recorded the readings while we were making out. No offense. It's unstable. And it's getting bigger and more powerful. At this rate, it could grow and destroy Earth. Soon we won't be able to stop it, but we have a window of opportunity now. Now, I have some ideas, or we could place it in the bottle with Catherine. Shut up. If you really have no sense of humor. Shut up. Calm down. I said shut up, and I meant it. <laughs> Enemy soldiers, moving in on this location, sir. Think they heard us? Maybe they heard us, maybe they heard the explosion. Can't be too careful. How many are there? I'm counting Shut a... up. I'm counting at least two vehicles, sir, and they're armed and they're approaching very fast. The sun's going down. Yeah, I say we got about 20 minutes. OK, options. <laughs> Shut up. Seriously? What? Stress picking on your walkie talkie. Morse code signal. Sydney. Secure link frequency. Code it. Secure. Code it. Sydney. It's William. William Marks. William, I'm trapped. I went through the wormhole, and now they want me to do their bidding. Help me! Where are you? I don't know. I'm trapped in an old building. I can't see. We can find him. Run a triangulation. We can't do anything if we're killed by that patrol down there. Hold tight, Sydney. We're gonna get you. Hurry, please. <laughs> we are. So mine. Look out! And we're dead. Engage! Engage! Oh, 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 Combat to get the juices flow. Call it a tie. Call it a tie. Oh no! Okay, let's just stop it. We can go home and tell each other's friends we beat each other up. Feel that in the morning. 
spoke too soon. It's called a tight. Uh, 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 uh. You can go. Okay, how do you say? How do you say surrender? Oh no, how do you say? Okay, yeah. Uh. Thanks. Oh, he's heavy. I didn't have a clean shot. Neither did I. But someone had to take it. What? You could have killed him. Yeah, but I didn't, did I? You're playing with people's lives. You know what, Catherine? Out here in the field, that's the job. It's not some mathematical equation. Out here, it's life and death. Plus, he's fine, aren't you? Oh. Fine, fine. Oh, shut up. What? More soldiers? No, I'm just sick of hearing you talk. Good job, SEAL team. All right, let's not waste any more time. There's bound to be more of them. It looks like we have a rescue mission to plan. Yeah. Ferrick! Sir! Double check the triangulation on Dr. Sidney Gerber. We're all clear, sir. All right, let's get a move on. Hua! 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 Christmas me. Houston, Richards, check it out. On it, sir. Watch my back, Houston. I don't want to die today. Hey, Houston, come here. Look at this. Is that a live shell? Looks like it. All right, let's go. Field trip's over. What's her status? Wiring's fried. Engine's not so good. She's been here a while, but I think I saw a live shell or two in there. You know me, LT. Give me two, three hours, I'll have her up and running. No, no, too long. Not our objective. Sir, there's a freaking live shell in there. I don't friggin' care. This gonna be a problem? No, sir. All right, let's keep moving. William. Me? Just fine. Just going over old research in my head. That's good. I'm trying to think of all the ways we can close that wormhole. I thought you might be doing that. We're gonna need some serious firepower. Don't worry. When the time comes, I'll send a coded message. We'll be in constant contact with Naval Command. Ah, <sighs> always thinking ahead. I try. Now all you have to do is come up with a plan. It sounds so easy. Yeah. You impress me. You seem way too calm and collected for all we've seen. I'm okay. When did freaking out ever do us any good in the field or the lab? Sometimes it's good to let it out. That's what you used to always say. True. As long as you have someone to share your feelings with. Right. As long as you have someone.
Finally makes a decent time. What? Smithy, Kevin, are we clear? All clear, sir. Good. Let's get a move on, men. That's enough. We're all exhausted. My guys are not exhausted. Who are you guys? Sir, sir, no, sir, sir! We're staying here tonight. Yes. The last time I checked, I still outranked you, Lieutenant. That you do, Commander. At ease, men. We're staying here tonight. That's an order. Pansies. Get some rest. Will do. Who's there? Who's there? It's me. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, fuck. What is that supposed to be? Meatloaf.
Maybe that tastes better warm. Ask you the same thing. I am cooking my dinner. Not anymore, you're not. Catherine, you want to give me a hand over here? Willie, what did you do? Cooking? What have I done? Sand. Barry and sand. It's the only thing that'll snuff out the smoke. Smoke? You don't think they saw this little fire? Or the smoke? Okay, that that was him. Marks. Guys, I just wanted to heat my meatloaf. You can't start a fire when we might be being tracked, William. Come on. They are MREs, meals ready to eat. You don't have to heat them. They are ready to eat. Yeah, but have, have you tasted this? It's really, I don't care. How's that? You'll have to do, but this area is not safe. Time to move out. Agreed. SEAL team! Oh, yes, yeah, sir! Pack up camp, we're leaving in 60. 60 minutes? That's an awful lot of time. No, not minutes, Mark, seconds. Seconds? How are we gonna get out sir, of here? Sir, SEAL team set to deploy. Gomez, you're getting slow. You guys slipping? No, sir. Maybe you're having a hard time reading the little hand on your watch. Uh, you know, they make these special glasses for old folks. I think I've seen them for sale at the drugstore. All right, all right. Team, this area is no longer friendly. We're hoofing it out of here. Anybody have a problem with that? Sir, sir, no, sir! Hey, thanks for not saying anything to the men. You know about me starting the fire and making us all have to leave. Right. And in case any of you want to know why we have to leave without getting any sleep, you can thank the good Dr. Marx here. He thought it'd be a good idea to have a hot meal in the middle of the desert. Smooth. Real smooth. Do I look like I care? Trouble in paradise? Ow! That hurt! It was supposed to. Thanks a lot. Now, can we get going? Aren't you supposed to be leading this team with that tracking device of yours? Just a sec. Oh. Sally missed. You should really try it. My sinus is killing me out there. It's so dry. That's yeah, much better. I'm sorry, did did you want no. We good? Can we go? What? Oh, yeah, fine, fine. Absolutely, let's go. No one should be waiting on my account. Uh, getting close to Sydney. It took you long enough. Am I reading this right? You know what, we'd be making better time if we'd gotten some rest. Honestly, who starts a fire in the middle of a war zone? I didn't know. Yeah, there's a lot you don't know. I know more stuff than you've forgotten. I have seven degrees. I speak 11 languages. Yeah, well, you know what you can do with your degrees and fancy diplomas? What? Next time you need to start a fire, you'll have some good kindling. Look, you're on my turf now, and you wouldn't last a day out here with all the stuff you think you know. That's so. It is. Really? Really. Hey, guys. I hate to bring this up, but I think we've already seen this. Most likely another tank. Well, well, it's more than likely it's another tank. The probability is high. Are you sure you're reading that thing right? Yes, you try it. Gomez, you got a reading on that thing? It's hard to say. What do you mean? Give me that dang compass. All right. North is that way. The dot is that way. We're moving out. There's an idiot to let anybody but me leave.
close. Two miles out. Something's not right here. We're walking in circles. What? We're walking in circles. What the? How? We got a radiation wave. Could be blocking the devices. Could be. Try to recalibrate the tractor and the triangulation. What the heck are you talking about? Simple math for me. Postulate the gatta radiation wave frequency and tweak the tracking device a circuitry to mimic. What? Look, I could explain it to you or I could do it. Do it. Commander, are you hearing this? Work faster. Something big. All right, Richard Gomez! You guys are up. Sir. All right, Richard, let's go. Got you. Shoot me in the back, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got Sydney's location. Not now. Another mutated scorpion. This one's bigger. The females are bigger. What? They are. Nothing here. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. It's just sand. All right, bring it in. Come on, man. We're screwing around. Let's go. Uh, He's killing it! My daddy's hurting it at all. Remember that outer shell. No, but listen, it's in pain! The monster might be faking it. It's safe to say with a larger body came a larger brain. She's toying with us like a cat and an injured mouse. She's gonna kill us. All right, that's enough! We're close to finding Sydney, and I am not losing my entire team to some overgrown bug! Catherine, make the call! Get some air support in here! We need help! Perfect, just perfect! Lieutenant, I have an idea. Sydney's close, take everyone to his location. If Gomez and I aren't there in 15 minutes, assume we're dead. No, no way am I letting you endanger this mission. Are you sure you've got this, William? Guys, don't worry. This, I've got. And Stephen, you don't mind if I call you that, do you? No? no. Don't worry, we'll plenty of time for that later. Guys, just go, okay? Please, trust me on this. I've got this one. Please. All right, let's move out! Gomez, I got some bad news for you. Oh, what's that? No, 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 please, keep shooting. Keep, keep yelling. Ah, I'm gonna kill you! No, no, like before. I, I die, you! Ah, ah, but I was killing you. Sorry, 
kid, she was faking. No way. Way. Shell is like armor plating. Oh, no. Huh. Well, I guess we're both screwed. They need fire. Fine. Light yours. Mine? Who brings a flare to the desert? Oh, my. Richards, right? Yeah. 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 What's going on here, Doc? What happened to him? He's been sucked dry from the inside out. But why? The scorpion is doing it to try to psych you out. What are you talking about? It's just a bug. No, she's thinking and plotting. She's trying to break you. Break me? Yeah, just pull yourself together, okay? Don't let her get to you. She's trying to, to break you. Yeah? Well, it's working! <laughs> no, stay with me! She hates fire! <laughs> Trust me, she hates fire! Stay! <laughs> I'm sorry. Gomez didn't make it. Yeah, I kind of figured that much. When I saw you walk up alone. We've tried to contact Gerber, but he's no longer responding. If we could just get this Humvee going. <sighs> well, if the doctor's still in his same coordinates, he should be just over that ridge. Uh, sir? Well, well. Tell me, smart people. Could our good Dr. Gerber be holed up there? It's a town. Brilliant. That's where our doctor is. I know it. Uh, guys, uh, Sydney's down there. We gotta make this fast. Data radiation's off the charts. All right, people, showtime. Houston, that rig up and running yet? Not yet, sir. All right, looks like we're still on foot. Let's get ready to move. Well, listen, um, about the bugs, the ones we've been bumping into, they all seem to be getting bigger and stronger. Yeah, so, what's your point, Doc? Well, I'm working on a hypothesis. I, at the moment, I'm just observing the pattern, so. So? So watch your six, Lieutenant. Aye, aye, Commander. radiation wave signature, nothing to suggest It's that... Morse code! It's Gerber! Sydney! Sydney! Dr. Gerber! Nothing. Still, he's gotta be close if we're receiving Morse code with all the rock in these hills. Sydney! Sydney! Where are you? He says to be silent. He's just around the corner, and they can hear you. Filthy! Move, move, move! Let's go! There's the door, door, door!
Oh my. What are we gonna do? I would seriously reconsider if you two need this guy to close the wormhole. That's my first thought. Sorry, but it's an honest answer. Yes. We need him, right? Dude. Yes, we need him. Move now. Sid, Sid, it's me, William, William Marks. Marks? Is that you, you old friend? Save it. We're cutting you down because that wormhole you created is unstable. Got me? Help me. Everyone was killed. It was horrible. Yeah, but somehow you're still standing, huh? They, they made me do it. I swear. I swear. You want to keep it down a bit? Catherine? Is that you? You came. Both of you came. Sid, we'll catch up later. Now be quiet. Doc, let me try. It's really got him in there. Uh, guys, you have got to move faster. He's almost out. Guys, they're waking up. <laughs> All right. Screw this. Got him. All right. We're out of here. Now. Pair underwear. <laughs> you know what? You are a funny guy. Yeah, you're just getting to know me. <laughs> you know, this whole marching through the desert thing is really starting to get old. Give me 20 minutes, sir, and I'll have her up and running. Our guest good to travel? Great. SEAL team, let's help our guest into the Humvee. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's gonna be a tight sweep. You bet it will be. Okay, back there. <laughs> Desert serpent. Nothing better. How is he? I think he's coming around. There I am. Hello, Cindy. You were in a bit of a situation back there, but we got you out of the cocoon, and now you're with the SEAL team on the way to stopping the wormhole you created. Stop it? What? Why would I want to stop it? What you created is a mess. The wormhole is unstable. You always did think small, Catherine. What makes you think I wanted to create a stable wormhole? What? Are you crazy? It's a fine line between crazy and genius. And who would you be? The guy who's driving you to your funeral, you crazy evil son of a- That is enough. Sydney, are you going to help us with this wormhole? Not only will I not be helping you close the wormhole, but I will take pleasure in- ah! I always wanted to do that. Good job, William. Yeah, well, it's the first time for everything, huh? So, 
I guess it's all up to you. Yeah, so what exactly are you planning, Doc? Well, uh, I have some ideas. Uh, Einstein and Steve Hawking would understand what I'm planning, but for you, let's just say, I think a big boom will be just what we need to stop that wormhole's gateway. Ha! Ah, you should teach. You really explain that well. Yeah, I figured we could uh, turn the gamma radiation against itself, fold it back on itself. It's a valid theory. Yeah. If the gamma radiation is at 6.87 gigahertz and in sync with the gamma wave signature, we just might stand a chance at stopping this wormhole. I concur. Now all we need is a big bang to make that occur. Don't worry, I've got some ideas. Wipe out! <laughs> okay, everybody out. Let's go. Everybody okay? That looks like we're hoofing it again. Uh, guys? Ah! Save me! She's coming for me! What is that? A hornet! An angry mommy hornet! Yeah, we just stole one of her babies. I am getting sick and tired of these big, bad bugs. Bugs. This way! still with us. Thanks. What gives with Sydney? 
How you feeling, Sydney? Are you kidding? I feel alive. Sydney, do you know where you are? What's happening? I'm going to find the wormhole. My wormhole. Oh, he seems fine. Same old narcissistic self. Where did he get all this energy? It could be that he's still in shock or an adrenaline burst of some kind. Ever since we killed that hornet, he's been like this. The guy seems... Superhuman, if you ask me. Superhuman. Great observation, LT. How'd you come up with that one? You tell me, Doc. All these bugs we keep running into, getting bigger, meaner, and smarter. And who knows what powers he could have gained by spending so much time with them. Be kept alive by them, fed by them. Both of you are sounding paranoid. Let's not turn on each other. You may just need him to close the wormhole. Yeah, well, I don't trust him. Superhuman or not, I never trusted him. It's just a bit. Whoa. How did he know that?
Maybe that's my plan! Maybe all those who ever doubted me should pay! Make intelligence, make strength, make a ego trip! Closed. Yes. Thanks to Lieutenant Rager. And the crystals are gone with it. Are you sure? Because if any of those fell in the wrong hands... Gone. Every last one of them. You know, he sacrificed himself for us. He saved the planet. He did, huh? He did. Are you okay? Me? Never felt better. Good. Commander Decker, this is Naval Air Command. We have a read on your signal. Good work, Commander. Make your way to a safe area for extraction. Over. out of here. Huh. Sounds like a great idea. I told you to have faith. Yes. Yes, that you did. Faith. Ah, uh, I'm working on it. 